It's been a rough few weeks for the people at Samsung and pretty much everyone who rushed to get their hands on the new Galaxy Note 7. The news is rife with user videos of their Note 7s catching fire and even exploding, prompting Samsung to initiate a worldwide recall of the device. At the center of this storm is the lithium-ion battery. How can a mobile phone become an incendiary grenade? Is it safe for us to use lithium-ion batteries anymore? To understand this, we have to understand first how these things work. Introduced to the market in the 70s, the power stored in one of these lithium-ion batteries equals to these. Because it stores energy super efficiently, it can store as much energy as four regular batteries. It is also very versatile and can be crafted into various shapes and sizes to fit seamlessly into many modern electronics. This battery has become so successful that you find them almost everywhere, like in phones and in power banks, laptop computers, cameras, electric cars, and many other portable electronic devices. Lithium is the softest metal in the world and it wants to react to almost anything, even the moisture in the air. Battery manufacturers usually use thin metal casings and plastics to isolate lithium compounds in the batteries from the outside world. An integrated circuit on the chargers usually stop charging a battery once it is full. If one of these mechanisms fail, however, the batteries could overcharge, overheat or damage. And then this happens. So now you're probably thinking it's no longer safe to use these kind of batteries anymore. But let's put things into perspective. Samsung has hinted that the disaster that they are facing now is an isolated manufacturing issue. This is not the first time lithium ion batteries are exploding. In fact, stories of iPhones catching fire or even exploding while charging have surfaced across 2014 and 2015, with cases of exploding phones happening as early as the mobile phone boom in Y2K. No pun intended. It doesn't only happen to phones. One of the biggest speculations on the disappearance of the Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 was that there may have been a fire caused by the some 200 kilogram cargo load of lithium ion batteries on board the aircraft. Not only that, in 2006, computer company Dell recalled over 4 million laptop battery packs over concerns that they could combust. Cars are also not completely safe from this too. The Tesla Model S, one of the world's most popular electric cars, was redesigned with a titanium underbody shield after a car accident caused a fire when one of the lithium-ion batteries stored underneath the car was punctured. And of course, the recall of over half a million so-called hoverboards, the hottest Christmas gift of 2015, took place after reports surfaced showing dozens of these toys spontaneously going up in flames. Well then, is it safe to continue using lithium-ion batteries? The answer is yes if you treat them right, because like it or not, they are here to stay, as they are by far the most effective means to store electrical power. How do we minimize risks as consumers? First of all, purchase trusted and tested electronics. Check if the product conforms to serum standards. It won't hurt to check out some online reviews too. Second, use only certified chargers and accessories. When you buy that 10 ringgit Pasamalam Chiplak phone charger, you're doing so at your own risk because chances are they are not tested for safety or past any standards. As for that bloated or punctured lithium ion battery you've kept in your drawer for the past 10 years, it's about time to dispose of them responsibly. When disaster strikes, knowing how to react is very important as well. For starters, a Class D or dry powder fire extinguisher is the most effective against battery fires. However, a standard ABC fire extinguisher like the ones you find in shopping complexes should work with lithium-ion battery fires as well. Never use water to put out a fire like this, because remember lithium wants to react to everything, even the moisture in the air. Water will only cause flaming liquid to splatter around and make the situation worse. Other than that, you can continue to enjoy the comforts and marvels of modern computers and electronics made possible by this technology. This has been Quikipedia. I'm Daniel Anthony for Kini TV. Thank you for watching.